What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Dean Runner here. Welcome back to another video. This is a full week of my base training leading up to a 32 minute 10K training plan. So welcome back to the channel. It's great to be putting together another training style video. And this time I'm hoping to take you guys through a full week of training uh, leading up to the build up starting May the 22nd for my 32 minute 10k training series. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Andy. Just to give all of you a little bit of context and a quick recap, April 16th, I ran Newport Marathon in Wales. I ran that in two hours, 40 minutes and 44 seconds. I then had a week off and last week, in my first week back, I ran a very nice and gentle 25, 26 miles, I think it was. Uh, so this is week two. And I'm now gently pushing things back up closer towards the 60 mile mark, which is where I want to sit. Well, I say 60, around 60 to 70. It's kind of where I was during marathon training. Now, when I start 10K training on May the 22nd, volume will be coming down because intensity will be going up. So I should think I'll probably be hitting for the first few weeks in around 50 to 55 miles, roughly. Um, but that's hopefully the context out of the way. Let's dive into this. We can start to give you a bit of an idea as to how the week is going to shape up. So normally any training series would start on a Monday, um, but this week we were away on holiday as a family from Friday until Monday. So I didn't get back until late last night and I definitely did not want to go out for a run after being in the car for nearly four hours. Um, that would have been a recipe for disaster. So we kick starting things on Tuesday. What would have happened is a nice 45, uh, 50 minute easy run, nothing crazy. That would have been the plan, but we're kickstarting today on Tuesday. This is my double day and I'm carrying on what I did during marathon training, which is a moderate morning and a, or steady, and an easy afternoon. That won't be the structure when we get into proper 10K training, uh, but whilst we're base training, I found this to be a really effective double. Uh, I really feel like it contributed massively uh, to my fitness. So I'm just gonna enjoy an hour out here this morning uh, on the trails, getting it done, and I'll touch base at the end and give you some stats on the run. Right, so that's the morning done. Heart rate was 149, which I was really, really impressed with. Uh, normally when I start a block, everything is a little bit higher. So that was really promising signs to kickstart things effectively on week two um, to, for the heart rate to be like that. So got that one done and the pace was very similar to what I was doing in the marathon training block. So lots of good stuff to work on. Now it's time for a relaxed, nice and easy 40, 45 minutes. And for tonight's easy, I'm joined by Matt. You may have seen this man in many a long run video <laughs> during the marathon training block, but it's great to be back out. We're just uh, catching up post marathon and um, doing a nice, to be fair, this is a really nice loop. There's a great loop around here, a bit hilly, did it just before Newport. Um, nice to get off the tarmac of Lydney and wind through a few uh, kind of, not trails, but tracks. So we're off out here, just enjoying it tonight, keeping it nice and relaxed. Give you some stats at the end. So there we go, back at the car. Great to catch up with Matt. Nice 45 minutes done there. 135 beats a minute heart rate. All very consistent. I'm pretty much around about five to six BPM higher uh, this week than I was during my peak of marathon training. So these runs are normally around sort of 129, 130. Uh, so to be 135 tonight is standard, I guess. Uh, compared to this morning again, at my peak I was 144 my moderate and today was 149 so really happy with that feeling good body responding well happy to get the first double done and a good start to this week so a great double day yesterday and now we move on to wednesday so in marathon training wednesday was my uh, workout day uh, in what's coming up 10k training it's going to be a rest day and for me doing base building right now it's just going to be another easy run i'm actually testing out the terra kaiga nines today so i've just been kind of going off piste into the woods and just having a bit of fun uh, but i'm back out on one of the main tracks now heading back towards home so it's just going to be 45 minutes today um nothing crazy keeping the effort nice and relaxed it is beautiful and warm like it's stunning 
the warmer weather is finally coming and this is exactly what I want to start to acclimatise. It's about 16 degrees right now, so we're getting there. Summer's on its way. Um, not a lot more to say really, other than this is just one of those days where we're just logging nice, relaxed, easy miles and ready for the next one. Alright, so welcome to Friday. More easy miles today. Might throw in some strides at the end today just to loosen up the legs. Um, I'm actually in Abingdon today, a place where I ran my very first sub three hour marathon. Um, I'm parked just over there in a car park called Rye, I want to say Rye Field Car Park or Rye Car Park or something. Abingdon Town is just there and I'm uh, moseying my way on down to the canal path, check the Strava heat maps and uh, a lot of people are running along here, so that's exactly where I'm heading. So yeah, just keeping it nice and easy today again, and tomorrow I'll put in a little bit more of an effort. But I'll take you along the journey today, it should be a good one. Get maybe 45 minutes to an hour done, should be fun. There we go, got an hour done out on the canal path. Easy-ish pace, very much moderate heart rate. Who knew that running on grass and those single track canals was uh, harder than pavements, you know? But uh, anyway, so effectively, as far as my body's concerned, that was a moderate effort. As far as pace was concerned, it was easy. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm gonna utilize this bit of tarmac. I wanna do some strides at the end. So I've run away from the car park. I'm just going to do like four by 20 second strides and then use the 40 seconds um, to just kind of jog and do it again four times. So four minutes worth of work. Just a nice little way to uh, get something in the legs. There's a bit of speed, but not doing any damage in terms of top end hard work. Just get things firing again. Let's do it. Right, we'll start with the 40 seconds relaxed and then we'll finish off with a hard 20 seconds in the, in the minute and then yeah, repeat. So here we go, ready for the final run of the week. Out here for the long run down at Cannock Ponds. Uh, I had a text message from Matt yesterday saying, what have you got planned? And I said, I don't know, persuade me, talk to me about what you want to do. And he was like, I'm probably gonna do 90 minutes to two hours. It's just sort of easy, easy steady. And I said, yeah, I was planning to do steady, uh, get my second steady of the long run. And despite yesterday's effort being steady, um, I was gonna to give today a little bit of a, a push, shall we say, uh, and also try and tip into zone three just to work a little bit higher as well. Uh, Cause I do believe that base training, especially when you get towards sort of the end of week two and then into the sort of week three, four, five, it is good to get some speed up in there. Obviously you don't wanna be going over the red line. That's not what base training's about. Uh, but he was like, yeah, fantastic. Sounds like a plan, let's do it. So I suggested two loops of the cycle track. It's gonna take us just under two hours. Part down at the bottom of the cycle track. So we're gonna be going out that way and then up a massive 250 foot hill and then up a little bit more and then we've got a four mile nice gentle downhill. So I've suggested nice and easy first loop, moderate, steady, uh, half an hour up to the top and then push for the lovely four and a half mile downhill. So we'll see where that ends up. So that's gonna be the plan for today. Just waiting for Matt to turn up and then we'll get into this one. So I'm just going to check in halfway, um, just halfway around the loop. Obviously bearing in mind in these two weeks, the most I've run is, uh, is an hour and I'm just coming up to that now. So we've got another um, hour to do. So yeah, a bit of a jump, but nothing that I'm not used to uh, over the, the 13 week marathon training block. And to be honest with you, feeling really good and enjoying this kind of relaxed, easy first loop. Although again, just like yesterday, deconditioned massively. Um, heart rate just does not want to go low. I think, uh, yeah, mid to late 140s right now, and it should be in the 130s. But it's all right, everything in terms of effort will be, you know, appreciated. The goal is not to red line. <laughs> we'll see what happens on the way down on the second loop. I might touch it, I'm gonna to try not to, um, but at the same time, out here to enjoy ourselves and if we do touch it it'll be very minimal within percentage terms for the week <laughs> we're gonna be talking 
one or two percent of the training time is up there but overall again so far this is this first loop has probably been easy pace moderate effort uh, and then second loop no doubt will be in zone three and i should think the push for the final bit will be zone four And so that wraps up my full week of base building training. Obviously I've missed off Monday. Um, so if you can imagine at the moment, I think I've, I've clocked like late 40s uh, in, in terms of mileage for the week. So if Monday was a thing, it would have been sort of 53, 54 probably, um, which is which is solid because the week before was 26 or something. And I'm, I'm almost back to where I was in terms of overall mileage during the marathon block. That was mainly 65 to 70 in some of the peak weeks. Um, so that was that's kind of where I'm aiming to get to. And that will probably come over the next couple of weeks. The change now leading into the next uh, sort of three or four weeks is I will drop in a workout a week so i'll swap out an easy run now these workouts are not going to be all out and I, I sort of i guess i preach in terms of some of my videos of base training that you don't really want to go near the red line you want to sort of get some good zone three zone four work but just a sprinkling uh, get the legs turning over uh, get the body used to uh, running hard but keeping things aerobic you don't want to go anaerobic at all and that's really not what base training is about just building a solid foundation so a nice build back last week really relaxed easy miles holiday miles as well uh, and then this week just starting to get some kind of structure back uh, into things and then next week leading into the next i think two weeks before i then kick back into 10k training so two more weeks uh, i'm just going to throw in a workout a week just to get the legs turning over enjoy a bit of fast stuff but the rest of the runs are going to be very much as they have been uh, this week so if you've got any questions about this week's base building training do drop them in the comments below i appreciate you guys following along uh, it's been a good one to film I don't tend to film this sort of stuff too much and I haven't done a full week of training video in a long time So it's been great to take you guys on every run show you the highs and the lows talk about the heart rate as well as we go Showing you that not always pace doesn't always match the effort and we've got to remember as runners Pace is irrelevant to our bodies. It's all about the effort. Uh, the body only understands um, the effort we put in not the paces uh, so what I sometimes like today and yesterday have considered running at easy paces and moderate paces is irrelevant to my body because the effort has been much higher so that's also something that we need to take into consideration I'm not a big data fan I love to just go and run out by feel uh, but I do enjoy running um, I do enjoy checking it afterwards and just kind of glancing at it here and there whilst I'm running just to see what I'm doing but I just certainly don't let it dictate uh, what I do out there hence today if I was to really have stuck to my plan paces would have been a lot slower but do you know what I was out there having fun uh, and that's the main thing so if you enjoyed today's video guys please do consider giving it a like share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content i'll see you in the next one until then